the race. Peeking out the blind. Her dives hip on the back though. Well, how you feeling? I'm good. So I broke down all the songs. It's 22 beats, one song. You know, I wanted to do every single beat at different locations. And I was gonna write a treatment that kind of motivated everything into the next different transitions and things and make it more intentional. But I was like, why don't we just hop in the sprinter? We got my boy Zach, uh, FTP sprinter. Just going around, what feels natural, we go and we shoot, and then we go on to the next song, just like that. But Baby Tron's just crazy. I love how he, he's been operating for the past few years, and he sent me a couple songs, and this one stood out to me. But I want to keep doing stuff with him. I was supposed to shoot this in Chicago with him. We we're going to go Chicago to Detroit. But uh, like my flight got canceled back home, and then all this shit. So I'm shooting it here, and we're going to do the Chicago Detroit one, hopefully in the next couple weeks. I, I feel what I'm drawn to and what makes me drawn to it and like when i listen to baby tron it makes me feel of like you know 2017 when i was just running around my camera everywhere and like his energy and his like passion getting to know him recently like it just felt like a way for us to just go and just have fun and not worry about everything too much you know, the iphone stuff a scene might not work whatever it may be and it's there's no pressure so i think that's the biggest thing is like Working with no pressure is what the iPhone videos feel like. It's just like trial and error, you're having fun, you see what looks good, you see what doesn't, and you just flip the camera a different way or walk down the street, shoot someone else. And it's to show people that, you know, you don't need all this fancy stuff, you can just have fun and do what you gotta do. Um, the entry level is, is lower than it's ever been. And I keep saying that, and I think that's a good thing, so. Shit the day good, fuck a pre-roll, I only face a for Half the sidewalk and I come up from this, you know what I mean? Yeah, and this wig. That's so Dead ass. You know it says a wig? That's why I brought this motherfucker out. You know it says a wig though? Oh yeah. <laughs> you better scram. You better scram. Big shitty boy, big dog should be listen. King of the motherfucking galaxy. I don't look out on this. Okay. Yeah, talk to me and Jenny. So, so we're doing a music video on iPhone. And uh, I was wondering, it's like a 15 second clip. We do it like a couple times. I was wondering how much that would be. In between you, I got you. Um, so what happened was we were just driving around trying to find a construction site and uh, we found one pulled over. Kind gentleman let us in and uh, we got a hard hat up the street at Ace Hardware because they didn't have one here. And uh, yeah, we're going to do a little scene for the uh, Chris Brown scenes and uh, here we are. So, here the fuck is Emperor of the Universe. Walking to the spot and running like I'm Chris Breeze. We just did a scene. I decided I wanted to do the Chris Brown running shit at a construction site. So we found one, we walked in there, and uh, the dude was iffy about it at first. Didn't want any cash, so I just shoot this in there, but he let us shoot. And uh, he's cool. He just said, you know, watch out for his boss, watch out for the owners of the property. There's a few cameras we had to look out for. As we were finishing up, the dude pulled up, we left, that was it. But now, trying to go find a couch on the side of the street somewhere in someone's yard possibly um, just to do the sitting sideways part. I just want him sitting on a couch and then someone comes and picks up one side and starts leaning. And there we are. And other than that, we're just going around, moving, picking up shots, doing what feels right. Yesterday, I don't know, I just got tired out of nowhere. I was feeling, feeling a little off. Today, I'm feeling, I'm feeling exuberant. Explain, the, explain that for the universe. So it's only one thing higher than the king. That's the emperor. It's only one thing bigger than the galaxy. That's the universe. It's nothing bigger than either of them things. I usually shoot all my videos in one day. So to like shoot something, like half of something, damn near we shot like 40% of the shit, and then go to my computer and kind of look at it and be like, okay, this doesn't work, this, this works, is was a really good way for me to like realize the direction I want to take the video. Because sometimes when I tell people this all the time, like when you come up with an idea and then you shoot it, don't fall in love with anything. Cause once you get to the editing, 
that's when everything really like falls into place how it needs to and you'll get the vision for the video in, in full like you know you might realize like a shot that you loved you spent hella time on or whatever it might be just doesn't make sense you got to think about the audience and what what they want to see and how it should feel you know and disconnect yourself from the project so that's kind of what i had to do with this one like i was like falling in love with stuff and ideas yesterday and i looked at the computer i was like this, this looks kind of bad like you literally one two three so for the uh young lean song we were going to um what did you say, Charlie? You said I spent like 12 in the, in the vape store? Yeah, so we're getting a student in the vape store with some Arizona, but we're on our way rushing, uh, trying to get as much daylight as we can. So we're on the move, we're hungry, so we're like, fuck it, we're just going to do that scene at McDonald's. So you got to work with what you got. I kind of like the vibe of it being at McDonald's. It feels like, I don't know, maybe stack a ton of burgers on top of each other. Have some fun. Arizona vibe. Yeah, you guys down to be in a music video? Cole Bennett shooting this shit. It's for Baby Tron. Y'all with it? Y'all yeah. with it? Hey, yo, where y'all from? Valley. Yeah, Valley shit? Valley shit? Next day funds, come on, stop fucking playing, bro. Bring me the Sunnies, bring me the Chevys, I'm on all that. We talking, we talking. That's next day funds right there. TM me on, TM me on, tell me on all that. We on that. 2022, come on, if you broke, the fuck is you doing? City cake for real. Punchline. Come on. Come on, what's the next part? Come on. Bro, I'm so blood, I don't even know. <laughs> Ruby oh, Hunt wanna fuck off the punchline. Justin Bieber let this sing for the one time. Hey, for a list of cars. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for being a part of Hey, get me after we can move. That might be some of the craziest shit. <laughs> now, now the sun's dropping too quickly, so we're gonna go to a McDonald's later once we get over the mountain. But uh, that was one of those moments. How do you how do you stumble across that besides just stumbling across? It? There's no way. I wash my hands before this. No problem. Listen, that is a big ass toy. Yeah, I see. That's all right. <laughs> Every time we go out, yeah, and I'm gonna tell you one reason why I did that. This car ain't made to go. He started doing that shit so <laughs> crazy. I'm like, oh my god. I thought that shit was in my head. It was just about to explode. Oh no, some, some this. Yeah, go get a um fire extinguisher. Hey, wait, go get a fire extinguisher. Oh shit, that shit is on fire. Hey, get a fire extinguisher. Hey, 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 hey. You gotta get a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Oh shit. Hurry up, whack, hurry up. This is the run away. No, we gotta get the fire. Yeah. I see it in the trailer while we were doing the shot. I was like, I know where the fire is. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> Told bitch, suck me when you pull up. Bro, fuck, she gonna hit me like a roll up. We're at Jamba Juice. We're pulling in the target to get the target scene for the YB song. 
then I saw Jamba Juice. And I was like, Juicy, B-I-G, Jamba Juice. I didn't know. You have to be the AD, you have to be the producer, you have to be the gaffer, you have to be makeup, hair, the editor, first AC, second AC, medic, crafty, catering, cash, all that shit. I can name a whole call sheet if you need. Man, <sighs> shot. All day today. I, I, I enjoyed the day more. We got a lot of beautiful scenes. Some of my favorites, especially the sitting sideways couch, the McDonald's scenes, uh, the scenes with the with the bounce at Wax House is crazy. Yeah, so today was my favorite. And we did this trumpet scene for the opening. And like, it's, I, you saw me, I was just the whole time, I just like couldn't get over it. I was like, it's just not what it needs to be. It's the opening scene of the video. It needs to be like crisp, clean, and like in your face. but. It just, we just didn't get it. The scene we got, we just didn't get it. So, reshooting it tomorrow um, and gonna make it what it needs to be. But, uh, you know, gonna perfect it. We got like three more uh, scenes we're about to do tomorrow. But yeah, good day. Finish up tomorrow. And I'm gonna edit all day at the end of Saturday. Hopefully, drop some time this weekend. Here we are. All right, let's do one more, but can you be leaned in more? Yeah. All right, and play it. In the tank, dog, like, fuck a half off. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Nice. Bust down turn. You see, you got the credit cards in this hand. Ben Franks in this hand. Toilet paper connector. Ooh. You gotta check the details. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Hey, what oh. about the other one? Tell us about that one. The hip hop lab. You see the test tube. Funny. Smoke flying out that bitch like scientists. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hip hop lab. I got a crazy ass check on the way. Y'all gonna see it, so it's gonna be in the next video. What is it? It's a uh, dog shit militia, like gang shit, but it's a big, it's a dog's face. It's chewing up some uh, money in his mouth, but then it's got a, my chain's gonna have a chain. Mm -hmm. I kind of. What, what, what do you think the the benefits, like the biggest challenges of doing iPhone is? I mean, you only have so many different lens know, options, and these, even the attachments yeah. only give you so much. Did so, you know the um, that that's one thing, and then there's such a difference between just the regular camera and the cinematic mode. So it doesn't feel very cohesive. <coughs> I'd I say that's a, that's a couple really things, but as long as you just you make cohesive it. with the flow of the edit and the location, the wardrobe, and your perspective on it, I think it works out. Yes, and then I am not with you. No. Big pigs, St. Bernard, where this is not shit. Couldn't take a step in my shoes where that is not fit. You hold this. All right. Hey, Henry can play something. Jake is 6'5. You'll, you'll see, like, it's so easy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap on Baby Tron. Man, Emperor of the Universe. You know what the fuck's going on, man. Let it go, let it go. We did it, we did it. Emperor of the fuck. Oh my god. Kicks on my feet, bitch, they bleeding, sliding. If I ain't drop something, I ain't see it.